him. Hello. I'm still working on my Mrs. Doubtfire hello. And it appears that no one is here yet. So that was the best time to do it before you all had to suffer in hearing my horrible Mrs. Doubtfire. Hello. Hello, everyone. Happy Friday, December 15th to you. Do you know what December 15th is? I think you all do. Let me hear it. What's December 15th? Let me, let me hear it. I want to know what's going on today. Well, today is, um, hello, Constellations 88. Thank you for joining. Hello, K.A. Walker. I know who all of you are. This is very exciting. I also saw an SBRE Brown. It is Star Wars Day. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, that was my lightsaber. I'll stop because that was horrible. Uh, happy Star Wars Day to all you Star Wars fans. Unfortunately, today, none of the stuff is Star Wars related. So, ignoring all that, let's move on. <laughs> okay, today I am playing with the Midori. Uh, this is the MD B6 notebook, which I've been using for the last couple weeks. Um, the pen is the Lamy Safari, which is honestly one of my favorite pens. I know that sounds insane, but it is. And uh, it has a 1.1 millimeter stub nib. And the ink, boop boo. This is Kobe number 21, Taisanji Yellow. Now we have done a hot stuff on this a couple weeks ago, as well as a Think Thursday. And I just completely forgot about showcasing it here as well. So I thought I would do it now because it's better late than never, isn't it? A yellow lightsaber, yes, yes, I know. Uh, I should have used my, uh, I don't know, would I be a red lightsaber or would I be a green or blue lightsaber? Probably red because that's, because I might be terrible, probably. Okay, um, I've already inked it because I just didn't want to risk inking from a uh, tube on air because sometimes I make a mess. Let us go into the notebook. Look at this notebook. Look how it's, it's getting so pretty with usage. Blue and red mixed because I'm both naughty and nice, I guess. Let's let's not discover. Let, let, let's not discuss that further. Sorry, not discover. Discuss. Okay, this ink is one of those colors that I probably would not have thought of using if I had not seen someone else use it, and in this case, it was Kim on Hot Stuff, and also Chris in the Think Thursday. So, I don't know. For me, it's always like hard to find a really nice yellow, but this one's really nice. It's The interesting thing is, it's called yellow, I'm going to keep writing because you will see why I'm going to make this point. Um, it is called Taisan, Taisanji. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. But to me, it's more of like a golden color. Like it's not a cold yellow. Let's see, Taisanji yellow. I'll do a... Wait, this is probably easier. Let's do a bit of a smear here. It shades really nicely. I'm gonna smear around a bit with the um, with the converter. Sorry, with the sample bottle afterwards. But let's write the pen. The pen is my trusty Lamy Safari. Look at this horrible mixed handwriting. That is just so wrong. And it has a 1.1 millimeter stub nib. Hello, newcomers. Thank you for joining. This is exciting because I thought nobody would be here today because I figured that everybody would be skipping work and school and life to go see The Last Jedi. This is the Midori B6. Slim. Oh, yeah. Okay, let me do a quick smear. And then while that dries, we can I can show you my previous swabs that I have created. Okay, this is where this could be... This is where this could be a disaster, and it was. This is how these things happen. Okay, so let's do that. Oh my god, no. Oh. Wait, wait, I need, a, I need a napkin. See, this is why I shouldn't do things with these, these vials. I, I, you know, this has never gone wrong until... Actually, no, it went wrong a couple days ago, so... Anyway, ignore... I'm, I'm going to, you know... 
it just seems really sad to to waste all this ink that's sitting on the page so i'm gonna suck it up with my converter oh my god there's so much oh good lord i'm gonna need another sample of this because clearly i've run out Ahem. anyway look look i wanted to smear it on the page because we want to look at the shading and stuff so this is perfect guys this is this is this is what I meant to do. This is exactly what we wanted to happen, don't you think? Here's the problem. I was distracted by you. All of you. You distracted me. Anyway, even with all of that spill, I still have some left. So, so that was fun. Let's let that dry off camera over here in this corner. And we can look at my sad three swabs. Now, the thing is, I don't have a whole lot of yellows. And um, the... My usual go-to yellow is the PV Ackermann de Gelo Ochre van France, which is <clears throat> the, um, this yellow here. And I forgot to swab it, so we're just going to have to imagine what it looks like. So this is the Taisanji yellow. It is got great shading. It's like a caramel honey, sort of. These are just two other oranges, and now that I'm looking at it, don't even need them. So, it's really nice. I think the shading is gorgeous. And the thing is that it is a light yellow, but even if you're using like an extra fine or a fine, uh, you can still read it. It's going to be light. It's still, it's still a yellow, but, um, you know, it's doable. But I would say this is an ideal ink in like a broader or a stub nib. I mean, I'm using it here in a 1.1 millimeter stub. Very legible, of course. This is the inspiration, people. This is what happens, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <sighs> Such a mess I have made. So there we go. The swab actually came out really good. It, it, it uh, showed the shading really well. Now, there is a bit of sheen. Let me see if I can angle it right. There is a bit of sheen there. It's, it's just like a, a darker version of the ink itself. So it's not a different color sheen like you see in some inks. Um which let's see if we have yeah, like this one this one had a this was a blue ink with a red sheen so it's not like that it's just going to be the yellow with like a darker honey caramel sheen it's very pretty i think it's a really nice color and as far as i understand it the taisanji yellow is um it's named this because of the taisanji temple in kobe japan and uh, Chris also pointed out he wasn't sure if it was named after the color of the temple or the color of the trees that surround it. So maybe both. I don't know. Anyway, it's very pretty. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, such a mess. I do appreciate that not everybody laughed instantly, you know, laughed at me. Sorry, I needed a sip of tea there to, to swallow my pride and keep going. Okay, so who's going to go see Star Wars? Who has already seen it? Don't, if don't, if you put a spoiler on here, I'm going to kick you out immediately. I'm just trying to get this to smear around a bit so we can t turn the page. Honey or caramel? Well, I don't know. It could be both. What about honey caramel, right? I would say the light part is a honey and the darker shaded part, like the darker saturated part, sorry, is a caramel. So it's both. Let's look at that. Honey caramel, right? Okay, I haven't seen it either. I haven't seen Star Wars yet either. Not the new one. So it's not just you. It's all of us. Okay. Um, this is going to take a while to dry, as you can see. You know what? I'm just going to blot it. Because I want to turn the page so we can look at the back of it. Oh, well. Look, it's just more art. So now I can do this. Look how amazing this paper is. You saw that spill. There's no bleed through. That's wild. This is a great way to just still smear around some ink that I soaked up into my paper towel. Okay. <laughs> You're so nervous. Don't turn the page. It's okay. It only smeared a bit. It only made a bit of a disaster. That's the fun of fountain pens and inks. I think. Okay. I was going to write. Oh, there's ink all over my pen too. Oh, I really made a mess. 
this nib, the 1.1 millimeter stub, is great for calligraphy practice. It's not super broad, so you don't have to use up like two or three lines. Still fit your works into one line. The Last Jedi. Okay. Uh, let's write a hello. And remember, I'm not a calligrapher. I'm just, it's a calligraphy journey, as I like to call it, because sometimes it works out and sometimes it's just horrible. Oh, thank you for your compliment. Ooh. Ooh, this is mysterious. I'm very excited. A great pen for calligraphy. I have no idea what this will be. I don't know if you can hear it. It's it's fairly smooth. I know we're supposed to be focusing on the ink here, but there we there we go. Ooh, it has a flex nib. Oh my goodness. I love flex nibs. You all may know that I am I am a very flexy lady. So I do like flex. I'm just writing hello over and over because it's one of my favorite things to write. Hello. Isn't that lovely? Anyway, um, a super nice yellow, very warm, uh, very shady. If you're looking for a nice shady ink, a nice shady yellow. I thought it would be a nice match for the Lamy Safari yellow. It's not. <laughs> the Lamy Safari is more, it's like an actual yellow and not like a honey yellow. So that's okay. It wasn't the perfect match, but there's not enough fountain pens for the amount of inks out there, I think. Okay. Well, I hope this was somewhat inspiring, ink inspiring, despite the fact that I made a huge mess. That is pretty messy. And uh, that was fun. I'm glad you got to catch that live. And um, that was horrid. So let's wrap it up. Thank you all so much for joining on this very special Friday. Just for the record, December the 15th is also 15 days before my birthday, which is very exciting. Except that I'm aging, so maybe less exciting. I'm very excited that you are all here and thank you so much again for joining. I hope this was somewhat useful in my disastrous mess and we will see you next time, which is on Tuesday. Bye everyone.